At 6 o'clock on Tuesday morning, a window opened for sports fans in Connecticut. They can now legally take part in online sports betting. I, I, I probably dabble a little bit and, uh, and see how it goes for sure. Three major leaders are in charge, the Connecticut Lottery Corporation and the Mohegan and Mashantucket Pequot tribes, all partnering with outside vendors to make it happen. This morning at 6 a.m., the first bet was actually placed on the uh, National League Championship Series. Since then, thousands of bets have come through. To make it easy on Connecticut sports fans, there are three apps they can download to place a bet online. We're talking about Sugar House, FanDuel, and DraftKings. Only thing is, you have to be 21 in order to use these apps, and you also have to be in the state of Connecticut. This all comes on the heels of a seven-day soft launch last week. Those at DraftKings and the Mashantucket Pequot tribe say that went smoothly. So we really collected that kind of proof that the product was ready over the seven days. And, you know, uh, uh, we used that to basically demonstrate the readiness to move forward with the statewide launch. We've been hearing from people on social media who are having trouble verifying their account. Can you explain why that might be happening? In the cases where people through our automated process can't, you know, fully um, get through the KYC, then we have a manual team that will go through and kind of help verify accounts. KYC stands for Know Your Customer. These vendors are keeping a close eye on them. If you spend too much, your account could be flagged. But when done right, you can bring in serious cash. Oh, yeah. Like yes. Like oh, yes. And yes. I know a couple people that won. Like, like, you know, uh, $10,000 here, 1000 here. So, yeah, yeah. We hope that's you one day. <laughs> yes, obviously, that'd be great. <laughs> and now it could be him if he's willing to bet on it. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.